Hi and welcome to The Happy Foodie, I'm Omar Aliboy and I'm going to show you how to cook one of my lifetime favorite seafood dishes, bacalao en salsa verde or cod with peas and parsley. I have here this beautiful terracotta which I love cooking this dish in. Believe it or not it gives a particular type of flavour to the end result. I'm going to start by slicing a little bit this garlic. And I'll put it in the terracotta. It is quite important to cook the garlic from cold. So coal oil, cold pan, and that is going to, as it warms up, it's going to infuse all the oil with that garlicky flavor. So while the garlic starts to sizzle, it will take about five minutes, I'm just going to do a bit of chopping. Finely chopped flat leaf parsley. The finer you chop it, the more color and the more flavor it will give. Now, the fish. So I have this beautiful loin of cod, and I'm just going to cut it into three pieces. And something I want to show you, we're gonna be using some clams as well. And um, how to see if clams are in good condition, not, and I'm saying clams, mussel, any sort of uh, shellfish of this style. So if the clams are closed, they tend to be alive. And uh, if they are very wide open, that means sort of they are, you'd need to check them. So let me just show you. So this clam, it's open, and I'm just gonna let it fall. And you see how quickly it has closed. That means it's alive. And uh, we can do it again. There's one here, which is a little open. And again, it has completely closed. That means that it's alive and it's just protecting itself. Now, let's give it a little shake. This is full of garlicky flavor, and I'm just going to add a spoon of flour, and this is going to thicken up the sauce. We need to cook this for about one minute, or at least 45 seconds. Now, I'm just going to add a little shot of white wine. which will give a nice acidity to the end result. And you can start seeing how it thickens up. And now, fish is stuck in. And I add a little at a time while I steer, because otherwise it will get very lumpy very quickly. And now sort of it feels a bit like double cream type of texture, okay? So now it's time to add the frozen peas, some of them. They will defrost very, very quickly, and as you know, these little peas, they just cook in literally minutes. I'm going to add a handful of flat leaf parsley, finely chopped. That's what it makes it all really green. A bit of white pepper powder, and I'm going to season these beautiful loins of cod, and I'm gonna put them skin side down first, and I will turn them around in about three minutes. This is a recipe from my mum, which uh, I always do my own twist on things, but the reality is that I haven't been able to beat this recipe. Now, I'm gonna bring the heat down. I'm going to turn the side of the fish. Oh, very slippery. I turn the side of the fish now, as later on will be too delicate. So, um, I'm going to give a nice shake to the pan as well, so that the, all the sauce comes together. And it is now when I add the lovely clams. Put a few clams here and there, whatever they fit, and that again will release a bit of the juices of the clams, making it a bit more liquidish. So you need to bear that in mind. Don't forget. I don't think I can fit anymore. <laughs> you can see the clams are starting to open uh, slowly, not all of them. One last shake to the pot. Careful, this is very hot. So that all the sauce comes together. This is bubbling out 
ready, all the clamps are open and uh, it's looking awesome to me. I'm just going to put a little bit of parsley at the end for decoration. Let me see how it tastes. Mm. So delicate, so subtle. The freshness is amazing and with the peas, just it's a beautiful one-pot dish with plenty of seafood and really healthy for you. I hope you try it.